Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. How are you? Okay. I forgot to do my job this morning. I meant to, but I forgot. Let's see if it shows up here. Hmm. September 7th already? If you want to download, use a sync. No, what are you doing? Um, hi. Hello, everyone. Oh, let me just do my face real quick. Let me tell you guys something. It is hurricane season. So hurricane season means a lot of rain. Oh. A lot of rain and no car. What am I going to do? I remember this time last year, there was a lot of rain. And sometimes I would just make it in before the rain came. And sometimes I would get drenched in the rain. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Do you realize I've been here a year already? In seven more days, six or seven more days, I don't remember. And I think I traveled on the 14th, got here on the 15th. Yeah, I traveled on a 14th because it was like 11.55 on the 14th that the plane left and got here the next day at 2.30ish p.m. And met Karen Huger and her daughter from the airport. That was nice. I looked at Karen Huger and I was like, you look like that woman on... And I couldn't remember Potomac because that's my personality. And I could see her daughter just kind of going, and I was like, but you look so much thinner than her. So I was like, you can't be her because you look too thin. <laughs> and then finally she had to admit that it was her. And I'm like, oh my God, so nice to meet you. I love rain too, but hurricane rain is different. I'm a big fan of rain, especially in the Caribbean. It is gorgeous. But hurricane rain pummels. It comes fast, it comes hard, and it pummels down. And most people are afraid of hurricane rain here. Like everyone goes, get home, get home. They think they're protecting me, and they're like, go home. The rain is coming. And I'm like, it's just rain. But there is a difference between hurricane rain and regular old tropical rain. Regular old tropical rain is gorgeous. You really want to dance in the rain like Drew Barrymore. By the way, guys, who was the black woman that told off Drew Barrymore and she acted like she represented all blacks. Did you guys hear that story? There's some crazy ass black woman that saw Drew dancing in the rain. And she was like, get out in the rain, get out in the rain, which I totally agree with as a black woman <laughs> representing. I'm like, get out in the rain. Like, it is so gorgeous. But, you know, if it's rain in California, I don't know if that's the best rain because there's so many chemicals mixed. <laughs> but I'm in the tropics, so I'm not that worried about all of that. But 
some crazy ass black woman. I still can't find it. I just found it on Twitter, but nobody repeated what this woman said on Twitter. Like told Drew Barrymore off. She was like, blah, 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 the black people. And I was like, wait, what happened? What happened, Drew? In any case, so I tried to tape a, a video for Drew to send it to her. It was, the rain was missed, but it was nice though. I did go out and I like, oh, look, I'm doing this for Drew Barrymore. But then the rain was like a little sprint on my face. And I'm like, oh, it's not working. It's gotta be pouring. So I don't wanna get stuck in the rain. I have to talk to the universe. I do not wanna get stuck in the rain, God. Um, I prefer to get to my destinations. No rain. I will carry an umbrella. But um, if I'm close to home, I don't mind being caught in the rain because then I can videotape for Drew, but I'll be close to home. One day last year, oh, my God, I was a block from home. A block. It got drenched. Got drenched. It's funny. I'm only upset because, you know, I don't want to have to redo my hair. So maybe I need to carry something plastic over my head. had larger sizes of these you know these are for cooking you know these not for cooking for your bowls right but if even if I get this this would help it's this part of my hair that I don't want to get drenched and I can put the rest in a bun we'll figure it out I thought I had bigger ones because they go by colors and I thought I had a couple of red ones if not I will buy some today or Maybe I should just buy stocking. Uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's just too much. To, these tropics. Good morning and good health to everyone. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. All right. I do the best I can. Good morning, good health, concrete, angels, uh, purple couch, Ke Keona, Kelly, Ayana, Sabrina, Ebony. I am again, Angel, Miss Shea, Florida, and the Mystical Misfits. Yes, Miss Net Net, Aisha Alford. So, Lisa, you are on first. Good health and good morning. Good health and good morning. How's everyone doing? Okay. Let me see what today's topics is for CNN. Five things you need to know for September 7th. Extreme heat, which is why I'm still not putting out these candles, guys. Y'all gonna get the candles in October. Too much heat still. Um, and that kind of tells me that I'm going to be in October to June candle maker. I'm not putting these candles out in the mail during the heat. So I learned a good lesson. Extreme heat, primaries, COVID-19. <gasps> Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so pissed right now. All right. Let me do this first. Just for the COVID-19. I really don't care about my job. I am your official YouTube correspondent. Um, on YouTube. Um, it's unofficial because CNN never fought, uh, hired me. <laughs> You can't fire me, CNN, because you never hired me. All right, let's get this party started. Five things you need to know for September 7th. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Angel. Um, Earth horoscopes are out. 
Earth horoscopes are out. Air's coming out today. Five things you need to know September 7th. And thank you, Angel. Hey, Steven. Um, extreme heat. A brutal wave baking the western U.S. has brought record-breaking temperatures and threatened power outages in California, Sacramento, according to the National... I'm so glad I left California. <laughs> See, God already knew. God was like, go. And I was like, where, God, go? But I don't know what I'm doing, God, leave. <laughs> you know, God is of little words. Go. Who said that? You're in like 3 o'clock in the morning. Who said that? Leave now. Where, where am I going? Escape. <laughs> Um, there's also high records in North, Northern California. Stop it. Stop. Northern California, Utah, and Montana. Oh, Lord. Oppressive heat, they're calling it. Primaries. Voters in Massachusetts have selected a former state lawmaker endorsed by ex-Donald Dump. Uh, nominee for governor. All right. Whatever. Um... Tuesday, when Democrat nation pretend to become the state's first out lesbian governor. Oh, there's a lesbian governor up up for um, election. Oh, isn't it interesting? All right, Deha will be the heavy underdog against Healy. Okay, I'm not really keeping up with Massachusetts, but there's a lesbian governor, and I think that's really cool. <laughs> first out, first out lesbian governor. I think that's cool. The first black woman to serve in the job will win. Oh, and then Boston City Council President Andrea Campbell. This is a Boston City Council President. This is a low-level job. The first black woman to serve in the job. It's a low-level job. They've never hired a black person. Boston. No, oh, you're trifling, Boston. And you know. You know you're trifling. We are not going to have an argument, Boston. We are, this is not an argument. It is a statement. You are trifling. Okay, and you know why. COVID-19, listen to this, guys. The Biden administration announced Tuesday that the U.S. is moving forward toward annual shots against COVID. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Don't worry about your flu shots, people. They're not going to give you your flu shots. I bet you what they're going to wind up doing, watch next year, it's going to be flu slash COVID. We're just going to pump y'all with chemicals. So annual shots against COVID, according to the Biden administration. Well, this isn't a surprise. It's a surprise to me. As the federal health officials have been hinting at such a change since the spring. It does mark a significant moment as the government continues to de-escalate its pandemic efforts. How they de-escalating? They took the mask away. They told the children, go to school at your own risk. What is de-escalating look, looking like to you? We're at an endemic. That's not de-escalating. If anything, an endemic is escalating because you are at your own risk. By the way, Ori Healings, Ori Natural Healings is going to be doing a, um, I forgot what it's called, a flu and cold seminar on herbs and all that good stuff. So it'll be in October and I am advising you to sign up. It's going to be on Zoom. I am advising you to sign up because you meta metaphysical misfits need to be educated on how oh wait on how to stay alive because COVID's still here and COVID combined with the flu uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, not gonna work so we gotta figure out ways to stay healthy my medical wait 
mystical misfits. All right? I don't know about the rest of the world. I'm not trying to save the world. I can only save those that want to listen. That's all I could do. Oh, did you leave North Cal? Oh, you left Northern California too? Ah, you go girl. You go girl. We got the memo. We got God's memo inside of our spirits. Got to listen to that God's voice, child. I'm right behind you. What do you mean, Solista? Hi, Bree. Good health and blessings to all. So, yeah. So, what you're going to receive, Deborah, is a good phrase, is an extra dose of good health in this seminar. So, be there or whatever, whatever. <laughs> I don't. You be there. Or whatever, whatever, because whatever this seminar will teach you, it's for your whole family. It's for your mama, your children, your husband. So let's get this party started. Why do I claim my hair so much? Such a bad habit. All right. So now they're saying COVID-19 isn't going away. Uh, all right, all over Ukraine. Chinese leader Jinping, Jing Jinping, and Russian President Vladimir Putin are set to meet next week. Putin is so broke. He needs weapons from China. He need, he needs weapons from North Korea. Putin. This is kind of like an epic fail. All right. This would be the first face-to-face -face meeting between the two leaders who have established a close relationship since Russia invaded Ukraine, blah, 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 blah. The agency called for a safety zone to prevent nuclear accidents sustained. You know, I have to tell you, if Putin wanted to douse weapons on the nuclear plant in Ukraine, he would have. The only reason why he has not it's because the air could be carried back to him and his people. True story. Apple. Apple is expected to debut its iPhone 14 lineup, the company's annual September keynote, blah, blah, blah. The event will kick off at 1 p.m. Eastern, blah, blah, blah. Live stream on Apple's website and social media channel, blah, blah, blah. This year's event has been teased with the far out tagline, and an invitation featuring a night sky with a constellation of stars forming the Apple logo. This has led to some to speculate there would be a major camera upgrade, which, hello, coming to allow for better nighttime. Listen, my peoples, my mystical misfits, we want to capture the moon. That's all we want not taking a picture of the moon and it looks like some blurry feature. I fucking hate that. By the way, there's a star that's right here. It's so pretty, but I don't know what star it is, but it's so pretty and so bright. I think it's a planet. It's so bright, so pretty. Every night, I see it. All right. Oh, Justin Bieber suspends his tour. That guy's not getting better, guys. He's got long COVID. He's not getting better. So I'm glad he stopped his tour because the tour is grilling. And with long COVID, it means rest. But Justin, I have to tell you, the rest could be a year or 18 months. So whatever you're going through, live off the income you already have. It, it does not make sense to tour. So, ugh. all right, what's everybody saying? Shoot, I just, me too, Teresa, but they tricked you. You know why you got the latest iPhone? Because them son of a bitches knew that they were going to bring out a better camera. The son of a bitches, screw them, screw them, son of a bitches. Listen to me. 
me see. I decided to take my leap of faith and leave LA. I've been wanting to relocate for 10 years or more, but didn't because of family. It's time now. You better listen to God. You better listen to God. If God tells you to leave, that ain't got nothing to do with your family. Just leave. Ah, good morning, sake love and good health. Good morning, Tanisha and good health. Good morning. She says, good morning, mystical misfits. Okay, listen to me, everyone. Now, I need to do a quick reading on Tiffany Haddish. I know you guys are oversaturated with all the videos on Tiffany Haddish. I want to tell you I am too. I can't go on my YouTube channel without finding somebody brand new I ain't never seen before talk about Tiffany Haddish. And some of you YouTubers are sloppy. Some of you YouTubers, how do you all have a YouTube channel? Because it's sloppy. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Y'all just picked up your phone and started talking. There was one guy I watched to tell a story. The funny thing is that he had something to say. But he only had something to say at the point of the story that he knew what he was talking about. Prior to that, he talked gibberish. And I was like, why am I listening to this? But then he was entertaining and whatever, later. Okay. Hi, sweetie pies. Okay. Why is my phone sticky? What's that film on my phone? Um, so, with all that being said, new comments. They have to get rid of the, oh, I have to bring out the new ones. Yeah, that's the game. That is totally the game. With all that being said, I found out that Greece is calling anyone, I don't know if it's a law already or if it's a law about to come through, that is calling anyone that has pedophilia tendencies or charged with pedophilia, they're calling that a, uh, a disability. They are not prosecuting people that have pedophilia ten tendencies. This is Greece. So that means Tiffany, who hired the lawyer that was protecting Prince Andrew from going to jail, although he is in jail in his own country because those people fucking hate him. Um, and And the fact that she ran away to Greece of all places, which I thought was kind of odd. I was like, did she just decide to vacation in Greece as this was coming down? No, that bitch ran to Greece. Um, and they don't extradite for this type of case. They won't extradite. So will we ever see Tiffany come to the U.S.? <laughs> Say what now? <laughs> Good morning, Sonia. Good morning, Saki love. Oh, you getting out. You getting out, Salista. You're going to do it. So, will we ever see her in the U.S.? Where did Russell Simmons go?
<laughs> morning, finna love it. Oh, I understood. So, happy birthday, Virgos. Is your birthday 9-15? Oh, by the way, I did the earth signs yesterday starting with Virgo, so go check it out. My mom took the shot and now has high blood pressure. She probably had borderline high blood pressure because the shot will bring out the very thing that's there. Not shocked. They protect their own kind. Interesting, Mahogany. Interesting. What's Indonesia? Infinite... He's in Indonesia? Russell Simmons is in Indonesia. <laughs> really? He's in Bali doing yoga every morning. But he's hiding out because of some scandal? That is terrible. Well, let's see if Tiffany's going to come home. Please, God, talk to me. Talk to me about Tiffany. Please allow me to see anything and everything that you would like for me to see. Tiffany's your child. She's your love. She's your beloved. Please, Father God, authorize me to see and say what you would like for me to say and see. I love you, God. I love you. In your name I pray. Amen, amen, amen. So what I got was uh, red, right? But it was very faint. So it kind of reminded me of um, the base chakra, but it was an unhealed base chakra, unhealed base chakra, because it was very, very faint. Um, illusion, self-examination. Let me push you guys back a little. Yeah, Tiffany is in... Um, is in Greece. Illusion. Let me move you guys over here. Illusion. Right? Self examination, distortion. Something is revealed inside breakthrough. Earth changes, climate changes, transformation. Thank you, Mahogany. They've given them a name, the pedos, and yes, classifying them as an illness, NAH, a nasty sickness, I say. Um, evolution, earth changes, climate changes, transformation. Moving on. Solitude. discontent and boredom she definitely might love to visit Greece it is not a place to live for her okay because she needs to see herself as mingling with people especially mingling with people of the English language and not doing that kind of gives her nothing to do. So, just fix this. Kind of gives her nothing to do. So she's going to have a little bit of a trouble staying there. But she is going to stay there for a minute. All right? She will stay there for a minute. So, she could stay there for up to four to six months. She may invest in some new learning over there. But she will get bored. As beautiful as Greece is, it's really not her cup of tea except to vacation there. I get the six of, pendant, six of pentacles. I get the strength card. I get the chariot, so I believe that she's not going to rush back. I get a queen of swords, 
And I believe staying there just helps her to look at her options on how to move forward. The ships are coming in like she has projects out there. Not that the projects are going to be moving forward. But in her mind, she's saying, I've got other things to do rather than hide out from this woman, right? And I believe the woman is this little girl. Like she's a woman now, but she's 22. So in my mind, she's still a little girl, right? She does have to give up money, guys. So this, this is going to come down to money. First, there is a sacrifice. And I believe the sacrifice is Aries. I think she cannot afford to come back. And I think the way the story has to be told is that I was a victim too. I left the room. I never saw the tape. That's the way I think she's going to spin it. And I think it all is going to fall on Aries from her mouth, not from the public's eye. Um, I get the Three of Cups. She's fine in Greece right now. She might even find romance over there, ironically. Um, will she be back? I'm not getting a resounding yes, right? I think if she comes back, it's slow. That means a few months will go by before there's even a consideration of her coming back. Now, there is no law right now that is making her come back. So she could slip in, much like Russell Simmons, you can come back if there's if the cops aren't looking for you, then you don't have a problem. And I don't think this is getting to the level of police yet. She is afraid to show herself, though. There's something here that if she shows herself, she could be attacked um, by random public people. All right? Hmm. She is thinking, you know, she's thinking of what are her options, and she is coming to a conclusion eventually, if not right now, that staying here is her best option, meaning here, Greece. But she doesn't want to stay in Greece. I want you guys to understand that. She does not want to stay there. She likes it, but it's not her cup of tea. I think she's going to discover that the law in Greece was meant for their own kind, not for others to escape to. So I think she's going to discover that the Greek aren't going to like her either. I think she's going to wind up being more alone than not, right? Um, I'm not sure that they like her, right? That's not coming across like, I love Tiffany. That's not coming across. I think eventually she's going to be having dinners by herself, breakfast by herself. She's not going to have camaraderie over there. You know, I wanted to say that, Infinite, but I was like, how could they not like Blacks? They're as dark as we are. I wanted to say that. I don't believe that they favor Black skin. Um, I don't believe that they favor Americans. 
and I don't believe that they favor women, and she's got the three points against her, right? Also, she's putting Greece on the map now. It's kind of like, you know, you're doing it for our people, but now you're using our system against us, against us, and now everybody knows, and now they're looking at us like we're crazy, and I think that's why they're going to be mad at her for putting Greece on, on blast. She just wants to go back to work, to be honest with you guys. Whatever that looks like to her. The legal system does show up. The legal system does show up. And I do believe that Spears and Tiffany get pulled in together. So, and then there's something deceptive here, like... Tiffany might have something in writing exonerating her based upon some old text message or something. I don't know who keeps text messages from seven years ago, but there might be something there. She, she does get tied in with Aries if, if this turns into a legal case. It's going to be Tiffany and Aries. There is a woman that's going to stop at nothing to get her. And to be honest with you, I also think Tiffany will become paranoid over in Greece. So, remember, Tiffany's mom has mental illness, badly, schizophrenia. Mental illness carries through the family. Um, and I think Tiffany has been trying to dodge mental illness in herself. But I think this is going to bring out some mental illness. And I think she's going to think people are either chasing after her or doing magic on her. And that is going to make her go bonkers. Thank you, Infinite Natural. Thank you so much. I didn't even want to answer. So stupid. That's exactly why I don't do sports. Because they do bet on my answer. And you don't get to bet on my answer because God will make you lose because I will say the wrong thing. Um, there has to be some jail time, guys. There has to be. The way I see it, though, is that it's going to be jail by agreement. So I just feel like somebody's going to say, you have to do some jail time. So she could do nine months. Um, but I have to tell you guys, by the time this is taken to task with Tiffany hiding out in Greece, lonely, eventually, not knowing who to trust, because the Greek people are going to be like, um, which is going to isolate her. Missing the U.S., I could go anywhere. If I had to go to Greece, I would, I would make it work, but not Tiffany, because her mental capacity capacity is not safe for her. Um, she wants to come back to the U.S. She has a better chance with people back here. Oh, I'm getting hot. You know when I start my reading, I get hella hot. I think that ultimately she's going to agree to do the time. And she's going to make an agreement and she could get as little time as nine months or less. It could even be six months because I think the way she's going to word it is that I wasn't involved with the production. Aries told me to bring a couple of kids. 
It really was supposed to be a PSA. I wasn't involved. I didn't know what happened in the room, right? I haven't seen the video, but was there times when she came back into the room? Because I think she's just going to play the victim. I heard that there was more than one tape. Um, whatever she did with the girl, I feel like she's going to say, that's not pedophilia. I was just asking her to mimic sex sounds, but that's not pedophilia. So there might be a fine line between what Tiffany did and what Aries did. Aries touched the boy. Aries had the boy touch him or something like that. I don't remember. Right? She's back. All right. All right. We'll see. All right. The bottom line is she's going to wind up. Wait, there's a video. Miss Shay, that's all they've been talking about all past five days is this video. Everybody has seen the video. Um... Right, her dad is from uh, the Middle East, right. Oh yeah, sweetie, there's a video, Miss Shay. Yes, but I, again, there could be a fine line between pedophilia and telling the girl how to mimic sex sounds, right? It may not fall just short of pedophilia, which is why I think she's going to get off somehow. Not be so charged. Aries is going down. And notice how quiet that fat ass has been. Um, yeah. Okay. Are we good? I get jail time and I have to stick to that. So, could she cop for a few months in jail? Yeah. But I have to tell you, I honestly feel like she's going to want to do this. I think somewhere in her psyche... She wants to take responsibility for this. I think she's miserable. I think she's been miserable. And I think this is something that's been haunting her her whole career. So I think she's been waiting for this to show up. I think she just wants to get back to work. And I think the way to get back to work is by taking some responsibility and then coming out and explaining her side of the story and throwing Aries completely under the bus. I'm going to stick to that. I think that's what's going to happen. Well, people are telling me she's already back, so you can't arrest someone unless there's a, a, a police report, and there's no police report right now. Well, all in basketball, I, I think we're going too far that we should say whoever released the tape needs to go to jail. First of all, we don't know who released the tape. Second of all, I'm glad somebody released the tape. What if the kids didn't have um, access to the tape? He told the mom the tape disappeared. So now the kids have proof. So let's look at it from a different perspective. The tape helped the kids. Right, she hasn't been charged. You can't arrest her. So. All right. Let's get the final outcome here. Inappropriate behavior is what 
it, this could all come down to just a, a woman. And that just, I don't mean it that way, because Tiffany, come on. Spirit doesn't lie, and you were involved in this, and somehow you got money to bring these two kids to the table. But whether it was by accident or on purpose, Tiffany is less culpable based upon her action. She's less culpable. Whereas Spears, literally, either he touched the child or the child touched him, and that is weird. And every video that I've seen where people have said they have seen it, the only thing that they describe is how disgusting it is. Everyone says it's disgusting. Yeah, but I do believe, remember what I'm saying, guys. I do believe there is a court case. I do believe she will settle. I do believe that she will go to jail. I mean, she's culpable just in bringing the kids to the table, so she can't escape this. But is there a difference between I brought them, but I didn't know what Aries was going to do to the extent she could win on it. Are we clear? Sometimes I find myself repeating myself a thousand times. Whereas Aries is in a lot of trouble. No, it's not a civil suit. No, the civil suit is what the kids are putting forth right now. I said criminally she could be charged. Depositions have been taken and allegedly they are damaging. I believe it. Thank you, Teresa, the diva. Thank you for getting it. Well, there is a court case, but is it criminal? I don't believe it's a criminal case. It's a civil case. So. Thank you, High Priestess. All right, let's get, let's get our final outcome here. This is not over, guys. This is going to be the Tiffany Haddish series. Why is this not moving? This is not over, guys. All right, let's leave this as this. Upside down. Martyr. Upside down martyr. This makes so much sense. It says, shadow upside down, addiction to self-pity. That's what she's going to place upon the public. It wasn't me. It was him. I'm a victim like the kids are a victim. Look at me. Feel sorry for me. Anything to save her from years and years of commentary on this act. I think that she's going to turn it around. Right. I understand. But to be honest with you, somebody has to file a police report. So there has to be a police report filed. But there will be a police report filed eventually. Okay. Martyr upside down. Shadow martyr utilizes a combination of service and suffering for others as a means of controlling and manipulating them. It's related to the victim. So she is going to say, I was a victim as they were victims. I did not know how bad this was going to turn out. I never saw the video. I never got a copy of the video. That's what she will say. And if you guys want to believe her, 
believe her. I'm telling you, she was 100% involved and got paid to make this video. But if you guys want to be like, oh, I forgive Tiffany. It wasn't her fault. It was Aries' fault. All right. Aries, you're going down. Tiffany, I believe you could wind up in jail for a couple of months. All right, guys. Guess where I'm going in the middle of um, a storm. Going to the chiropractor in the middle of a storm. Wish me luck. Let me put my hair up. Oh, I had a plastic coat. Now I don't know what I did with the plastic coat. I had a plastic coat and I got rid of it. Because you only need the plastic coat for a whole month. That's it. You only need it in September. Maybe the first week in October. But I got rid of it because I never used it. Now I wish I had it. All right, maybe I can buy a plastic coat someplace else today. I think so. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. Thank you. Take it easy. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Gals and guys, go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live. Go to Tracy Brown Live.